So as you can see here, I'm taking quite a few temperature readings. Um, and I'm using two different types of sensors. Um, if I uh, if I need a waterproof sensor or something that's uh, yeah something that's going to go outside in a tank, going to get wet, um, use these these here. This has a, a DS eighteen B twenty integrated circuit inside it inside the stainless steel tube, and it's just three wires coming off it. Um, these are uh, pretty good, uh, but if you're just measuring air temperature. Um, this, this this one here is going to go inside the, uh, the the wheel arch water tank um, for the cups of tea. Um, but if you if you're measuring just air temperature, um, I've got uh, three of these knocking around. These are a DHT twenty two. Again, just three wires, but it does the humidity readings as well. Um, you do get a DHT eleven, but the temperature range isn't as much. Uh, I can't remember, but it doesn't go down as far, and uh, you know, which is pretty useless. Um, these we we tip with these is they can work in five volts. Give them three point three because what happens is the uh, running on five is they heat up a little bit, and uh, your uh, temperature is not going to be that accurate. So, uh, so I've got three of these: one in the uh, drying room in the back of the van, one here in the bunk room. Uh, and one in the cab at the front, uh, all measuring the uh, all measuring the, the temperature and humidity. Um, so there we go. And the DS probes, I've got one outside, which uh, goes out through the gas dropout vent for the LPG. Just sits under the chassis, cable tied on precariously. Uh, this one here is for this cold water tank. I've got one for the hot water tank, and I've got one. Uh, in the sandwich for the underfloor heating, which can monitor that, which will, uh, which will control a function when I get around to programming that. So there's your uh, couple of good temperature probes to use and where to use them, how to use them. Both have three wires. These take three volts or 3.3. These take five. You bring them in. You have to put a resistor in uh, on the data wire. 4.7k so these uh, hot color jumpers have uh, they're for the DS's I've got power coming along there's a 4.7k and uh, these cold color jumper wires they've got a resistor each because uh, the DS is working a bus as you give them a hexadecimal address um, these work individually on pins the DHT22s need a resistor each. I can't remember what, what resistor I've put in there, but uh, you can look it up. Anyway, that's that's, uh, that's temperature probes, which are uh, quite useful for a camper van. Hope this helped.